Alright, champ over here. Looking pretty good. Okay. Um, we first ordered some stuff from Race Day Quads. Uh, just a couple of propellers. They have some really nice battery straps, uh, rubberized on the back. And I'm telling you, they're really nice because I have one on this. They actually gave me one while we were flying yesterday and it held my battery in place. And I can't tell you how many times that battery fell out in the past. It, yeah. So I ordered a couple of them, uh, a bunch of blades, because I'm about done with these gem fan blades. Not that they're a bad blade. Things rock solid. solid. Great sound. Move really good. These are 50-50s. Man. Any little thing and they break, though. They don't just bend. They, they snap. Um, those are glass-filled, and I guess I should have expected that. But, that being said, um, they're a really good blade. I just... Maybe a more experienced pilot that's not going to hit stuff. Probably love those things. Um, but I'm going to try out a couple of their props. I'll take a look at them when I get them and show them to you guys. Um, and we'll see how they go. Uh, but back to this quad, which is what I'm holding in my hands. Brain FPV, the RE1 board and PDB. Uh, power distribution board, which goes together really well, by the way. Um, it's a real nice setup. It fried, as I said in my earlier videos. I got in touch with them today. No problems. I mean, I sent them an email. They emailed me back. I'm going to check a few things on this. Send this board to him. He's going to fix it and send it back to me. Um, I mean, seriously, you can't ask for much better than that. U.S.-based company, super nice to deal with. Uh, I can't wait to fly this thing. PIDs adjustment through your goggles. Your onboard OSD. OSD is completely, like... Whatever you want to do with your OSD, basically, you can do. I mean, it's amazing what they have set up here and they've built. A really fine product. Um, I can hook it up to my computer and it works fine. It's just when I put power to it. So it's got to be something on the power side. Um, he's wanting me to check the power coming in, you know, to make sure it's the 5 volts and not some craziness that the PDP itself might have burned up, uh, which I guess that can happen. That's life. Um Really good company though. I mean, they knew, the guy on the phone knew what he was doing, knew what he was talking about. You know, they're not just uh, some random company selling a high-priced flight controller. You know, they know what they're doing. Um, check them out, brainfpv.com, of course, racedayquads.com. I'll be telling you how that stuff works out. Back to this one. Uh, I cleaned it all up after my video yesterday and noticed I got a loose motor. Bearings are loose. Um, this is the motor that got ditched into the ground at like 100 foot. Like, yeah, slammed into the ground. Um, I'm gonna fly it. Uh, but that being said, I contacted Boca Bearings. I used to race all kinds of stuff from quads to dirt bikes, uh, you know, motocross, GNCC. Um, I was okay. Uh, Boca Bearings has been a good place to go for ceramic bearings. Always has been, always probably will be. Um, I got into A-scale buggies as I got older, truggies, which I did pretty good with the truggies. Uh, never had much luck with the buggies. I seem to like to break them. Anyway, um, I've always gotten bearings from them. So I call them up. I say, hey, you got bearings for T-Motors F60 Pro? Well, I'm sure we do, but we don't know what size they are. And I said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll send them an email. When I get home tonight, I'm going to tear this motor apart, tear one of my F60, regular old F60 1900 KV motors apart, see if the bearings are the same, do some swapping around, get this back up and running and tight and send them the other bearings, match them up. I'm gonna check the uh, F40 Pro, I'm gonna pop one of these motors apart tonight, check the F40 Pro bearings. If they're the same, you know, that's great. Um, I'm gonna get a set of ceramic bearings for everything, both quads. Um, I highly doubt, given that these are T motors, you're gonna see any type of uh, vast improvement um, over what we've already got sitting here. Uh, but I will say ceramic bearings, are awesome they don't wear out like conventional bearings you know stainless steel or whatever bearings you might have titanium um they're great so i'll be getting those soon um and i'll tell you how they go that's boca bearings uh and if you got bearings on just about anything they can get they'll, they're gonna be able to have it or make it for you no problems uh i think it's bocabearings.com or boca.com um either way they're pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll check out those props. 
They have the Dow props. I got a set of them coming. And a set of uh, Racecraft props coming. Um, they didn't have the props I wanted. Uh, I'll wait till they get them in stock over at Race Day Quads. Um, the manufacturer has them, but uh, we'll see how the quads fly. I've watched his fly, granted he's a way better pilot than I am. Um, but basically his quad is very similar in parts to this one. Uh, you know, these are 2600 kV motors. He was flying the Emax. I think they were 25 or 27, 26. They were right around the same range. Um, I'm probably going to try to get him to fly this quad and get some video feed off of it if he will do so um, out in the field or something. Uh, I tried to get him to fly this one. He just laughed at me. <laughs> He's a dinosaur. He wanted nothing to do with the dinosaur. The old, old, old dinosaur. So... It is what it is. Uh, I got everything soldered up. Really good. Um, both of them are soldered that way. Gives you a lot more flexibility. I don't have to worry. Like yesterday, I actually broke the connector off the board and pulled back some of the pads. Had enough yet left to solder it, no problem. Got it done. Uh, and it works fine. I've already tested it out. Um, worked absolutely just fine so anyways that's where we're at that's what i got going on uh hmm i'm gonna tear that apart and find out where my voltage problem was if it is a voltage problem you know because that pdp could be bad i could be kicking more than five volts up that could have been the cause of the whole problem uh i'm actually kind of thinking it might be but we're gonna find out here tonight i've got my meter and it's not a great meter it's a just a general old meter this is a fluke uh t5 600 I mean, I have a better meter, I have a snap-on meter, but that'll do my job just fine. Um, you know, it's super easy to test electrical equipment as soon as you understand a few things. Uh, DC, of course, is different than AC, um, and everything's a switch. I mean, that's, that's basically what you got. So, uh, anyways, if you guys ever have any questions that I might be able to answer, especially since uh, I'm kind of new to this whole channel deal on YouTube, um, but uh, just post them in down below and I'll see if I can answer. Later.